World Mental Health Day was earlier this week, and this year's focus is mental health for all. It's something the Courtnell brothers are hoping will become a reality. The Victoria brothers, familiar to hockey fans, launched the Courtnell Society for Mental Health last year. Tess Van Stratton talks to them in this week's Vital People. <laughs> For former hockey players Bruce and Jeff Courtnell, raising awareness about mental health is a cause very close to their heart. Our family suffered uh, greatly with uh, the tragedy of my dad committing suicide and I think now you know we've made it to, you know one of our main priorities is to raise as much money as we can and awareness for uh, people in BC and around uh, the country. Bruce was just 10 years old when their dad Archie died. It was just a huge loss, you know, you're, you go to school and your friends know you're, you've lost your father, they don't know what to say. We didn't know what to, we didn't speak of it. Um, we held, we were that family that held it in. Back then, you know, it was kind of, I think it was shameful and we felt that it was something we just wanted to hide. Knockdown, tip, missed by Cardinal, he scores! During his high profile career as an NHL hockey player, Jeff finally broke his silence during the 1994 Stanley Cup playoffs. When I don't score for a while, I start to lose my confidence. A lot of people didn't know, and, and uh, you know, it, it probably helped my family a lot because we really all came together and had a big release. He got up every Saturday morning with us at 5 o'clock and took us to the rink and skated with us from 6 to 8. Father and son hockey. Credit goes to so many of you that... Um, you got behind this. Along with brother Russ, they started fundraising almost 20 years ago to open Royal Jubilee Hospital's Archie Courtnell Centre, which has seen more than 60,000 patients come through its doors. It's been just great to get out and help as many people as we can, and there's so many to help. But and the bigger thing is talking about the stigma and getting people to talk and open up. And, and I think it's getting, you know, it's come a long way since we started in 03. But there's still a lot of work to do, which is why the reignited Courtnell Society for Mental Health is now focused on raising money to give grants to organizations that are helping people. We've seen a big uptake since COVID. Uh, people are struggling. It's difficult. Services are overwhelmed. Organizations are overwhelmed. One in five Canadians will experience a mental health problem in any given year. And by age 40, about half the population will have had an issue. People are sometimes afraid or reluctant to talk about mental health. There's a stigma attached to mental health. And mental health is actually just as important as your physical health. Without mental health, there is no health. And that's why the Courtnells keep sharing their painful story in the hopes it will encourage people to get help. It's very difficult to even think about and talk about, but I think that, like I tell everybody, if I can help, you know, save one family uh, from going through what we went through and what I went through personally, uh, then it's all worth it. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.